God bless you. My name is a prophet Elijah Bamidele Iluholo. By the grace of God, I want to speak on the issue going on between Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufi and the issue between uh, Dr. Ebe Damina. All right, a lot of videos have been flying on online where people are insulting Senior Prophet Jeremiah that he cannot speak English, that he cannot quote Bible, that he cannot even read Bible. I want to give you the difference between these two set of people. Dr. Ebe Damina is a pastor. Why Prophet, Ebe, uh, uh, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufi is a prophet? Listen, we have five fold of ministry. We have the ministry of a pastor, the ministry of a teacher, the ministry of an evangelist, the ministry of an apostle, and the ministry of a prophet. The ministry of a prophet is different from the rest of that ministry. And when you read the book of Amos, chapter 3, from verse 7, the Bible says, Surely the Lord will do nothing without revealing it to his servant, the prophet, not the pastor, not the apostle, not the evangelist. Prophet are different set of people. Prophet are characterless people. Prophet are mannerless people. Prophet are aggressive people. If you don't know it, know it today. Search your Bible very well. Prophet don't go to school. 95% of prophets, they know they go to school. It is now that some prophets are not trying to, okay, let me just acquire it. Not that they need the degree for anything, you know, just for people not to talk. Real prophet don't live in the house. They stay in the bush. That is why you always see prophet on the mountain. You see Anywhere you see a prophet, you must see a mountain. Anywhere you see a prophet, you must see a mountain. All their life is mountain, 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 mountain. I know there have been a lot of criticism against prophets in Nigeria from pastors, starting from Prophet T.B. Joshua, how they criticize the fight team. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. But I just want you to understand that a prophet is different from a pastor. A Bedaminan is a teacher of the world, a pastor, a teacher of the Bible. Prophet Jeremiah is a demon destroyer. There is a difference between a teacher of the Bible and a demon destroyer. The Lord will do nothing without revealing it to his servant, the, pro the prophet. A prophet can organize a program of five hours and not quote more than two or three Bible scriptures. The rest of it is demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost. That is what the pastor does not have. A pastor can organize a program of two hours and quote 1,700 Bible scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. They are two different people. So there is never a time you will bring Prophet Jeremiah and Ebed Amina and ask them to come and debate on Bible and expect Prophet Jeremiah to win Damina. It's not possible. Damina is a sound Bible teacher. Jeremiah is a demon destroyer. If you are looking for who will teach you Bible, go to Damina. If you are looking for who will join you to destroy those idols, evil altars, bring that demons, go to Prophet Jeremiah. They are two different people, sir. So Jeremiah does not have to speak English. He cannot read Bible. No be fault. Now so God did one. That's what has God did it. The Bible said that Elisha was going on his way. When children came and were mocking him. He turned back and commanded beer to come out and eat them up. That is a prophet for you. If it were to be in this generation, Elisha would have been stoned to death. They would have taken him to court. Facebook would have finished him. The character of a prophet is different from a pastor. Stop misquoting these two people. Jeremiah cannot read Bible. Fine. His work, his assignment, is to hear from God and tell the people. The demon that God will use Jeremiah to destroy in one program, Dr. Abel Damina cannot near there in 40 years. So don't, don't copy these two people. A prophet is not a pastor. That is why you don't see them with branches anyhow. You don't see prophets with branches anyhow. Pastor, a pastor can open 10 branches in one street. But a prophet cannot try that. A real prophet cannot try that. A real prophet cannot try that. Because the assignment is a very deep assignment. Be careful on how you insult prophets. Jeremiah cannot speak English, cannot read Bible. But he can destroy that demon that is troubling your life. What you need in your life is a prophet. A Benjaminan is a, is a sound teacher, a religious pastor. Jeremiah is a spiritual man. A carnal man can never understand the things of the spirit. It takes spirituality 
to understand the prophet. Do not follow prophet with with a, with a book knowledge. Do not follow prophet with a wise. Don't follow prophet or else you have problem. If you want to work with a prophet, you must work with him with the eyes of spirituality. What a prophet see why city, a pastor will never see it. Why he climb rock or tree? That is the difference between a pastor and a prophet. So may God bless Dr. Abed Amina and his ministry. May God bless Prophet Jeremiah and his ministry. You are, you, if you are in need of who will teach you Bible, go to Damina. If you need who will join you to destroy those idols troubling your life, go to Prophet Jeremiah. Prophet Jeremiah is not a pastor, but a spiritual. Bless Prophet Jeremiah and his ministry. You are, you, if you are in need of who will teach you Bible, go to Damina. If you need who will join you to destroy those idols troubling your life, go to Prophet Jeremiah. Prophet Jeremiah is not a pastor, but a spiritual entity. I beg you. Stop the insult. Stop the hate. Stop the mockery. May God bless you that is watching this video. As we share this video, may the Lord keep you and change your story. In Jesus' name, God bless you. So, beloved, I believe we all heard what Prophet Elijah has to say concerning Ibed Damina and, and Prophet Jeremiah Omotofefe. As you all know, a lot has been going on on social media for the past couple of days. And a lot of us are not having it, especially me. But I'm not comparing him not being able to read the Bible, nor him not being able to quote scripture like the way Ibed Damina says. There's something Pastor um, Prophet um, Elijah actually says in this video that I strongly agree with him. Um, there are diff um, there are five categories of ministry: the teacher of the word and the prophet. It's two different categories of people. Like he went further to explain that a prophet will actually help you to demolish those demons in your family and those troubling you in your workplace and your living environment. So. I strongly believe in him. Why Ibedamina is a teacher of the word? As you all know, yes, Ibedamina can host or in a Sunday uh, teaching, he can quote over 50 scripture of Bibles. He knows what he is doing and he has gone over the word of God, which is the Bible, over and over again. So he knows his he knows it let me put it that way he knows what he's doing and he's a pastor not a prophet so ebed amina cannot preach the way pastor um prophet jeremiah omoto fefe should preach and prophet jeremiah omoto fefe cannot actually preach like the way um ebed, dr ebed amina actually does because those are two different categories of pastors or god servants let's put it that way and i won't really say that i want to actually explain anything better than what prophet elijah has actually um explained and like he says um there are a lot of prophets that are trying to fit into that category um, of being able to teach the word because when you go to a church that it's led by a prophet or you hear demolish prayer do the speaking tongues that devil must die this one must die bring this oil bring that oil bring this out and to demolish the devil that is what they actually do in terms of their ministry when you go to those churches you are ready to garbage you are ready to destroy that demon bring this oil out bring this water out so that is will actually get me into what i want to say by when i say i don't actually agree with what um prophet jeremiah omoto fefe actually does and there are a lot of things that um prophet elijah actually explained that a lot of prophet try to go to school just to fit in that category because of societal bully and what people will say so they intend to go to school to get a degree or study the word of god more to know how to quote scripture like other people do and while others are versatile they can actually prophesy and they can actually read the bible quote scripture teaches you at the same time like those are the ones we call total package in the terms of ministry and in the terms of men of god so there are people that actually have it in all our all around in all aspects of life they are able to teach and they are able to prophesy and they are able to demolish 
demons like he says let me use this word so these things are actually making rants on social media and i feel like nobody should actually compare men of god who is better who is good there are some of our big big names that if you can't even hear them talk but people listen to them and there are meanings and blessings in their teachings and they teach in different ways you cannot compare those two together that's why shouldn't them do like this do like that but there is something that prophet jeremiah omotipefe is doing that i don't actually like and i feel like that is robbery in broad daylight i mean broad day um broad daylight and it really disturbs me because i don't really understand why somebody will say that i watched that video and it's very 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 disturbing honestly to be honest with you i don't want to incite any insert any clips on those videos i don't want to make it bulky or bonky but there are some few things that i just want to say to all of us that you pray and kills fair from heaven at the, at the end of the day instead of you distributing it into people's life to bless them and demolish or open doors that the enemy have locked on today people that you know seeking for miracles breakthrough that you feel like those skills you end up selling them and i don't know like they take us for granted or they feel like we are stupid or their followers are stupid but mind you i don't blame this person i actually blame their members people that actually go to their churches those are the set of people that i actually blame because you cannot go to a church and then a pastor is telling you to come and buy a key then doors will open up to you why is he selling that key to you as you all know in nigeria pastor um prophet why am i calling him pastor prophet jeremiah omotofifi has the biggest fish farming so he has his money already so i don't know why he went far as far as actually doing the things he's actually doing and that was what caused the dragon selling of miracle items which i don't really understand in this aspect or in this area of life because it's very very disturbing at the same time it's kind of like funny because how will you think that buying key that you think god 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 sent from heaven na angel who deliver her ah people eh, jesus jesus are you acting a movie or what and people intend to actually work with these things and they'll tell you that yes god gave him keys um then he's selling a uh, back to sender oil, yeah back to sender water a uh, first breakthrough uh, you see it's just so many i don't want to list them but i really want to talk about them and they are just just so disturbing the videos have been making runs on social media. I just told myself I'm not going to talk about those things because they are just so, so, so selfish and stupid at the same time. Let me use that word, permit me, because how can a man of God actually make his members to buy those things? And these things ranges from thousands of naira, not that it's hundreds of naira or it's being given to people free. Um, I think he said pool of beside her that is going for 10,000 naira. Then just imagine if 100 people should buy that water. That is 100 million naira. If you want to do the math, and then the ones that said 3,000, this, and it's not just him. A lot of churches are actually selling these things. And it was his soap when he made a video with his wife that actually went viral. And then a lot of people are dragging him. And he's not the only one that does those things. A lot of them do these things just to intimidate people, just to prey on people's fear and all that. Because you feel like you're a spiritual father over their life, or you are their pastor or their prophet, anything you say, they are going to do. And those people are too stupid honestly because members that go to such churches and the men of god tell you to eat grass you eat kiss snake you kiss drink parazo you drink drink this one you drink you will not die because you have a deshi in the lord are you mad hey <laughs> jesus see and when i see such video it's so annoying that i just don't want to recreate those videos not because that i don't want to share such things in my platform i do but i feel like it's so stupid and so diminishing because people human being with their right senses would actually go as far as actually buying these things partaking in this um demonic or naive things 
it's 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 uncalled for and for me it is uncultured and i don't think god does things that way okay if you want to say that um, jesus christ did the same did he sell them jesus christ even when he went to the temple when he saw people trading in the house of god he actually destroyed those things when he destroyed the church and said he will build it in how many days these were the reason and this kind of things and please it's not by buying that pull of the cider i must carry my twins uh first time waiting waiting this one i don't even want to hold the names in my head honestly unless i watch the video before i can actually um list them or their soap attraction soap it's in voodoo our church is not doing voodoo so when you bath with such soap or you sprinkle such oil or water in your body, then you are able to attract riches and things to you. Those are voodoos. Those were the things they call um, magic those days. But now, because churches are doing it, it is normal, it is a non or it is a tradition now for people to actually, and they don't just do it to give it out for free, they actually sell them. And it's so, so disturbing. I just don't understand what people are actually, like what the world is turning into and what those men of God are actually turning into. Please. Hey, I beg your pardon. Be careful and also ask the Holy Spirit for direction in some area of things or in some aspect of life because you don't intend to actually go align with what these people are actually telling you because it's so bad honestly i'm not here to actually put down any man of god but i'm here to actually put down a lot of people that actually participate in this kind of demonic um uh, agenda because you cannot tell me that god actually gave them those things and where did they see god from which angel deliver is it michael is it gabriel no just tell me which of the angel actually came to deliver this pull of beside and then this oil oh yeah, heavily keys heavily soap are you people okay the corruption that we are facing as a nation is not yet okay for all of us now we want to also receive corruption for in terms of Christianity and churches and all that, which is very, very bad. So a lot of us should actually look into a lot of things. It's not everything that they tell you you actually run with. Please be careful. My people, be careful. Because this is not all that glitters that are gold. Even the Bible actually tells you. It's not everything that you seem that is right, that is actually right. Because you feel like as a man of God that is actually telling you to do these things. You feel like it's right to do. So please be careful so that you don't fall into the wrong hand. You go and attract powers that you're not supposed to actually attract in the first place as a Christian. If you want to go and serve or like do voodoo, go and do it. Don't put your leg here, put your leg there. When you know that these things are not true, deep down within you, you know that these things are not real. And you go as far as actually doing these things to the point of even paying for it. That is what busts my head at times when I see such things flying on social media. So I just want everybody to be careful. Be very, very, very careful. The world is turning into another thing these days. So you shouldn't just run along with everything you see. And because it's a pastor that is selling it to you means it's legit. It is not legit, my dear brothers and sisters. So let's be very, very careful the kind of things we actually participate in and actually carry out some kind of exercise because pastor tell you to do that it's it's just so sick that some pastors are leading a lot of people astray these days and they are actually doing it because they feel like it's a spiritual father over their life be very careful that is what i just want to share with you and actually talk i'm not here to compare men of god all i'm here to do is that stop leading a lot of individual are true because a lot of people don't know they are left from their right anything you say they are gonna do because you're a man of god over their life so please pastors should stop prophets should stop leading people somebody will say um breakthrough or free uh this one stands giving all free that one this that do you need to give god money for god to actually turn things around in your life no if you understand what you carry as a child of god and if you read the bible and understand my dear brothers and sisters you will abstain from all these churches you're going for them to lay hands on you to cast demons do you even have the demon in the first place a pastor will tell you that you, you there are spirits following you from your father's house from your mother's house then at the end of the day you need
need to do this fasting. You go, like, you do fasting for 14 days, 14 nights. At the end of the day, nothing changes in your life. So understand what God is actually saying. And at the same time, understand what you carry. Because God has given us the power to step up to step upon scorpion and serpent so anything that is following you you yourself you have the power to actually cast them if there is something truly wrong with you at the end of the day and a lot of us we don't have problem but when we go to these churches to lay hands on our head they take away your glory your prosperity and add to their ministry to grow that is why you see some churches buried human beings some all manner of things cows before they lay foundation and build an altar on it like stories like that have come out and they are making runs on social media but a lot of people will not want to condition their mind to actually believe in those things because their pastor or their brain has been washed so please in as much as you listen to some things actually learn to differentiate good from bad because you have the capacity to actually know or feel what is good and what is bad at the end of the day that is what i just want to share with you guys today please if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly pause this video subscribe comment like share Share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content. And also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you. Thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching our video. God bless you as you do that all the time. So guys, that is just what I want to share with you guys this morning. I'll see you shortly in the next one. Bye for now guys. And do wait to share this video. Like I said, and please subscribe to the channel to be part of this lovely family. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.